Welcome to a video from thedislifes.com, another Windows 11 quick video, and this one I'm going to show you about the power and battery settings in Windows 11 and how to optimize your device. For... So, I've just come in here to settings to power and battery. You can see here it's showing me my battery consumption. This is a Surface Laptop Studio that I'm using there, so you can see where it was on charge during the day and then I used it a little bit in the evening and then it was off and I put it on charge this morning. So first you'll see some recommended things on here. I've got this set never to sleep because um, I'll do some video rendering on it uh, which isn't recommended and as Microsoft say re results in higher carbon emissions so they're recommended to, to change that. So you'll see some power recommendations there. Here is where you'll see the actual options to um, for sleep and power usage. So uh, when the device is on battery it will turn your screen off after five minutes and um, when it's plugged in it'll turn the screen off after 10 minutes. When the device is on uh, battery it'll put it to sleep for five minutes. If it's plugged in it never goes to sleep. And that's like uh, I use virtual machines and things like that so sometimes I don't want it to go to sleep but actually for power usage and, um, and best practice you probably should have it set so it goes to sleep so it's not wasting power. The next one you've got is some power modes. So I recommend it is a balanced performance, but if you're doing some um, processing intensive stuff frequently, or maybe you've got an application that doesn't like uh, power saving, then you can put these on. I find I leave it on recommended and um, it works fine. I, I use video rendering and it gets all the CPU it needs when, when I'm doing that or music applications. So I leave it on recommended. But if you're doing gaming, you may be better to go on best performance. Uh, but I would recommend going back to recommended when you when you're not using that. Uh, so other battery um, info you've got there, you've got battery saver turns on at twenty percent. So once your battery drops below twenty percent, it automatically kick in uh, battery saver, which lowers the screen brightness, reduces the CPU power, gives you that little extra battery. And if you want to know what's using your battery, you can actually see your applications and what battery usage are. So you can see. Them, Microsoft Edge is using 58% of my battery because that's what I've been really recently doing the uh, last couple of days on this device. Um, but you can see the other applications that I've used and how much power uh, they're using. And you can sort it by uh, what's in use now. So you can sort it by in use, what's in running in background, or by name. Uh, so you can see Microsoft Edge is the thing I'm using most, so that's using the most power, and you can search for those as well. Some of the applications, say like Media Player there, um, allow you to control some of the background activity on it. So you can see here this app runs in the background and it's optimized, but you can say don't optimize it or always optimize it. So they run more efficiently, but maybe if it's something like a video rendering application, then or something that runs in the background that needs the power, then you might necessarily want to change. You might not necessarily want to change that. So there's a quick look at the power and battery settings in Windows 11. There are more advanced side to it, but those are the main ones that you need to manage your system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com and our YouTube channel.